Hi guys! So today I want to show you how I make my own yogurt for my kids' smoothies and sometimes I use it as a dressing for their salads too. So it's super easy, very simple. All you need is any type of a plant milk that you like. I use organic and sweetened plain soy milk. You can get it in Whole Foods, Sprouts, um, I saw it actually in our local little store too. So it has only two ingredients. It has water and organic soybeans. So when you choose your plant milk, it's better to use one with lesser ingredients. So I find this one has only two ingredients, which is great. And that's what I use. So basically what you need is your milk. You're going to need a little bit left over from your past yogurt. You can use yogurt that you can buy in a store. You're going to need probably like two or three tablespoons. Um, or you can uh, buy those little packets of non-dairy yogurt store. It's vegan. Um, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. Um, it says all kinds of information in there. <laughs> so you can use those little packets. So it has like little packets in there. I store it in a freezer, but what I usually do, I usually, it's very rarely when I use those, I usually use the leftover yogurt that I have. Um, so, and then you're going to need a container and the yogurt maker. The yogurt maker that I have, I'll show you later. You can see it. It's over there. It's very simple. It's Oster or something like that. It's super cheap. Um, now, a lot of appliances have a yogurt uh, setting, like my Breville has a yogurt setting, then my Instapot, you can make um, yogurt in there. So you, or if it's warm outside, actually, you can just put it outside uh, in the morning and uh, by the nighttime, it's gonna be done too. So very simple. The first step, you wanna shake your, <laughs> so I'm gonna just heat it up in my saucepan. You pour your, your milk in your pan. Here we go. Just get that. Um, and then you're going to wait. Wait a little bit. I would say less than a minute. Um, in the beginning, when I just started to make yogurts, I used to use this uh, thermometer. Um, my... <laughs> My battery, battery died in, in that one, but that's what I was using. Um, and I was just put it in there and see what temperature it is. And you want around 115. Um, but I've been make, make, making it for such a long time that I just know by touch. So you don't want it to be too hot because the bacteria in the yogurt is just going to die, boil and die in there. So you want it to be warm, uh, but not too warm like not too warm and not too cold so i would say it just takes probably about a minute um then you're gonna need the whisk to kind of spread around and that's all you need guys super easy and you know why i do my own yogurts for kids because it basically has two ingredients, water, soy beans, and then my bacteria from the yogurt. Because the yogurts that I buy, like I see in the spring, sometimes I do buy yogurts for them, uh, there's like in a store, but it has so many ingredients in there that I don't want to see and I don't want my kids to eat it actually. So this is a very simple way um, of making it. Let me, I'm gonna touch it now. It's almost there, maybe another 10, 15 seconds. All right, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna pour my leftover yogurt in here. And just wait a little bit longer. It's done, so it's done. You don't want it to be like steaming or anything. Here we go. In. I'm going to spread my yogurt evenly, the leftovers of my yogurt evenly in there. And I guess. 
so it's done i'm gonna transfer it to the yogurt maker i'm gonna show you it's super easy here we go it's my yogurt future yogurt this is the yogurt maker and it's set for 15 hours already so i'm just gonna push start and i'm gonna cover my lid and that is it you don't touch it until the time is up you can see it says 15 hours all right guys i'm gonna show you how it looks like when it's done all right guys so the time is up i'm going to open it the timer is off and that's your yogurt it's pretty thick beautiful it smells like yogurt and then i'm gonna just cover it and put it in the fridge here we go